Here's how to create this cool time glitch effect, and it's with a combination that you might not have thought of. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my original clip and just duplicate it on top of itself. I'm going to do that holding Option and just clicking and dragging it. That's a quick shortcut. You can also do Command C, Command V on the other track, or just drag the same clip out from your media panel on top. Now on this top effect, we're going to add one called Posterize Time, and I'm going to find that in the Effects folder under the Time folder. I'll click and drag that onto the top layer that we copied. And Posterize Time is a cool effect all in its own right. It can take the frame rate from an original 24 frames per second, and you can lower it down to something like 4 frames per second. And if we stop the tutorial right here, that's already a cool effect. That's like a stop motion effect that we've created. But what we're going to do is mix this uh, slower frame rate version. So we're getting like a little snapshot each time with another effect. And that's the strobe light effect. So if I go to strobe, that's in the stylized video effects folder and click and drag that on. Now we've got to make sure we add the strobe light on second after the posterized time. And in the effect controls panel, you'll see strobe light. Normally it'll just add like a white strobe flash, but we can also change it so that the strobe makes the layer transparent. And this is the key here. We're basically cutting in and out of this posterized timed version. And by default, it's not going to look that great because it's just going to go on and off every 50 seconds. It, al it almost looks like it's lagging, roughing. But if we change the strobe duration to something quicker, like 0.2 every 0.4 strobe period, and here's the key, we add a random strobe percent. So this is what's gonna add that glitchy feel. Let's just add like 30 something percent. You can, you can play around with it. There's a lot of flexibility. And now I'll press enter here just cause it's uh, a little intense of an effect. So we're gonna just render it so we get a smooth preview. And now we get this cool time glitch effect where we're cutting in and out of the posterized time effect. So we're, we're getting this stutter of the time. And from here, there's actually a lot of different flexibility that you have. So you can adjust different frame rates for posterized time and see what that looks like. You can adjust different random strobe or strobe durations. And you can also adjust just the overall other effects of this clip. So let's say I lower the opacity a little bit or even set it to a blending mode like screen. Now we're going to get like sort of a bright effect. And again, I'm going to press I to set an endpoint. O to set an out point and press enter to just get a quick render so we get a smooth preview. This is what it looks like on screen blending mode. So now we've kind of created more of a light effect. But hopefully this combination of adding an effect and then a strobe light effect on a duplicated clip can be the basis for many different creative ideas for you. My name is Justin Odisho. If you enjoyed this video, then you should check out some of my other videos and playlist where I go over all of the different effects in Premiere and different creative combinations. Thanks so much for watching, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video.